My name is Karen Thompson, and I got next. You next up, and you ain't been on sports like talk. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> hey, you better hit him up. Look, you breaking next, and you up next. Keep the queens go hard. Rock the star on the big scene. Make them know who you are. You don't break a sweat. Don't settle for less. They put you through that test. Your resume that flex. Who got next? Who got next? SLT, ready to go. Who got next? Who got next? Living my dreams and all your goals. Who got next? Who got next? You can ask B. Jones or head coach. Who got next? Who got next? You next up, so here's my vote. Chill. Welcome back to another fire episode of Sports Life Talks. You got next. That's right. This is season three, and we're coming close to an end of telling of this amazing platform, which gives exposure to the voices of tomorrow. That's right. We are telling the stories of rising phenoms from far, wide, left, right, <laughs> north, south, individuals who are doing big things and accomplishing big dreams. And today, we got the story of the underdog, ladies and gentlemen. We purposely and we intentionally make sure that we give you guys something that's going to carry y'all from A to B, something that's going to give you that positivity and emotion and that 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 inspiration to do big things. And today, this young man that's below me, I'm telling you, he is a phenom. And guess what, Kevin? I understand now why y'all waking up in pain because y'all are sleeping on one of the hardest players in this game. Coming to the Sports Life Talk family, standing at 6'3", 190 pounds. He can play wide receiver. He can pay with, play whatever you want him to, and he can throw the rock and play QB. Class of 24, coming out of Killeen High. Let's make some noise for Connor Trill Thompson. <laughs> What's up, Connor? How you doing today, man? Doing pretty good, doing pretty good. Can't tell he cool. He, he cool another side of the pillow, man. He, hey, cool, doing pretty good. <laughs> Hey, wait, 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 I'm going to tell you something. I'm about to take it up a notch, baby. Let's go. If this is your first time joining the show, Colleen, I am your host, the mouth of the South of B. Jones, the OG Louisiana. I'm put your L's up. That's right. Throw them up. Connor, I don't see you throwing your L's up, man. Nah, he threw it up. He threw it up for me. Hey, Mr. Yeet is in the building, and I'm rocking alongside my brother from another mother. The other side of the logo, the choir storm. The head coach, KT. Kev, how you feeling today, man? I'm feeling great, B. Jones. You know what today is, right? It's our anniversary. Yeah. No, that's not what are you doing, dude. I didn't <laughs> see that coming. It's football. It's football Sunday, man. That's right. We got, it's we got a stud who. We'll be playing on Sundays in the future, B. Jones. So let's turn up and tell this story. Hey, every time my wife say that to me, that's what I start saying. Well, I'm, not, I'm not your wife, and we didn't want to hear about Tony, Tony, Tony anniversary. Oh. Let's, let's keep going, man. How do you know about Tony, Tony, Tony? Nah. Oh, we got to turn you on to that, brother. We're yeah, gonna we turn, we're we gonna did. turn it on to you before you go to college, man. You can have that in your in your in your uh, in your repertoire. <laughs> have that arrow in your quill. Hey, but check this out, Connor. Before we get going, we do things safe around here, okay? But we got to make sure we abide by the law. So I need you to take your right hand, Connor, and I need you to grab this. That, yeah, put it over your shoulder. Grab that strap and buckle up, man. Cause this ride is about to be bumpy. We're about to have a fun ride, and we uh, let's get this thing started out by paying the bills, KT. When when, when me and KT say we paying the bills, we don't mean we trying to get no money. Even though, if you, hey, listen, somebody out there that hit that lottery last night, <laughs> send that money. Well, Pete Jones, here's the thing: nobody won. It's up to a billion dollars. So, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. All right, well, if if you if you got money, send it to us. But now, nah, real talk, all we need you to do is join the Sports Life Talk Nation. We are the takeover season. 2023 is almost over. We've had a wonderful ride. It's been a blessing. We've seen a lot of places. We told them a, a, a lot of great stories. But we got to keep this thing going on and the person that can help us keep this engine rolling strong 
It's you. That's right. You watching this show right now, rocking with us. We need you to do us three quick favors. On the count of three, we need you to smash that subscribe button, become part of the Sports Life Talk family, so we can keep growing this thing until it becomes a conglomerate that is absolutely unstoppable. Number two, we need you to hit that like button as many times as the system will allow you to hit. It's, it's part of the algorithm, unfortunately. If you hit like, it tells everybody that this show is a great show, and that people are going to start watching it. It'll be recommended to a lot of people. And number three, last but not least, sharing is carrying his holiday season baby you can't everybody got that feeling like i need to do something to help others out well this show can help a lot of people out so we need you to take that share to hit that share button take that link and throw this into your to your workout chat room to your, your colleagues at work or whoever you kick it with send them this show and tell them to go watch it it'll be the best 30 minutes of their week we promise you that all right so uh connor it's, it's colleen the kangaroo nation go rock with us man yeah, they're going to rock with this. All right, let's go. Let's go. Ten toes down, baby. Let's do it like we true to it. One, two, three. Boom. I hear it coming. I can hear it. I'm like Phil Collins right now. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All this love we getting from Colleen. And we got a surprise for y'all at the end of this show, Colleen. So y'all stay, y'all stay tuned for that. But uh, Connor, what's your favorite emoji, man? Oh, fair emoji. Oh, what's, what's that one? Like, it's the person and they got like two hands on top of their head. It's like <laughs> on top of their head. <laughs> All yeah. right. If you did any of those three things, if you, if we want to, we want you to throw that emoji in the chat because we want to reach out and tell you how much we appreciate you. Listen, we in Kevin, we don't do fans. We don't do followers. Those are for all those other ESPN and all those other conglomerates right around here. We do family. So if you did any of those three things to help us to promote this platform and help us to promote this story, you are our family and we appreciate you. And we just want to tell you thank you. So throw the throw the emoji that 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 uh, C Trill was th- was talking about down in the uh, in the in the chat, and we will uh, we'll definitely love to connect with you. Without further ado, Kevin, oh we, you think you can deal with this young man? I'm telling you, when he get going, when he get going, is I don't think it's a DB in the city that can deal with this young man. But hey, it is time for the Sports Light Talk initiation. All right, Connor, to initiate you into the SLT family, you got to give us your top five music artists. Got you. All right. First one, Gunner. You know, he, he cool. Uh, my second one is Lil Double O. You know, he's up on the come up. Uh, third one, I think everybody like him. Drake, you know, a little certified love boy. You feel me? Uh, my fourth one is Big X of Plug, you know, down in Texas. Yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, that boy, hey, hey, Big X of Plug, I've been doing this on a whole nother level. That, yeah. that, that, that's a banger. That, uh, Kevin, that joint is a hot. That levels, I recommend that to everybody. Let's go. Last one. Yeah, my, my fifth one is Big Scar. RIP to him. He, hey, he nice, though. He real nice. Wait a minute, he passed away? Yeah. Man, that's cold blooded. So his name is Big Scar? Mm hmm. Dang, you got two of them that I've never even heard before. Big Scar and uh, Double O. Yeah, point. We, double heard, we, heard the double, we heard a Double O before, B. Jones. Somebody, I've never heard of Double O. Him. Well, you need to pay attention to people's uh, top five, and they, they've said it before. <laughs> <laughs> I, I take that challenge. I take that challenge. Yeah, yeah, you, you got, <laughs> all right, Connor, what we like to do, we like to rank everybody's top five, and the highest you can get is five. Now, I'm going to tell you the truth, man. You got a young man's top five. Like Drake, I was rocking with Drake, and the other ones, uh, you know what? This is your show. So we, like I said, we like to rank everybody's top five, and the highest you can get is five. But B. Jones, you said you're telling me how much of a study he is, even though I, I saw the highlights. I know he is. Let's give him thirteen for his top five, bitch. All you were missing was like Tupac, Biggie, T.I., Luda, something like that. And I was probably gave you like Nah, 16. you know what? I'm not, I'm not even going to give him that, man. Uh, Connor, I need you to add a little J. Cole, though. Oh, I, I need you to, Cole. I got I a J. Cole. I need you to put a little J. Cole in that list next time. So when we get you back, when you go to college, I need to hear some, hey, I, 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 mouth to the stop. I'm on that J. Cole now. You know what I'm saying? I got you. I got you. All right. And Tupac. All right, so who is your favorite, who is your favorite superhero and why? Uh, uh, my favorite superhero is Spider-Man, you know neighborhood little neighborhood superhero you know um why i don't know i mean it was probably my childhood superhero you know back in the day when i was just sitting down you know just eating my cereal watching tv he was just always on the tv always swinging around with his webs 
you know, defending villains and stuff like that. So are you more Peter Parker or Miles Morales now? Oh, no. Miles Morales is like, he, he on the come up. He's going to be the next one, but I'm still with Peter Parker. Okay, so we're going to tell you off air about your whole Peter Parker story. I'll let B. Jones go over it, but he's a troublemaker. All right, so <laughs> since every good superhero needs their own theme music, what would your theme song be? Uh, theme song? It's uh, Rockstar, Rockstar Status by Lil Double O. Lil Double O. Okay, no J. Cole, no, you know. Okay, we got you. We got can, you. Can you sing that one for us? Can you sing Rockstar Status? I don't know if I can sing that. But, uh, <laughs> we, 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 well, we always try to see if somebody will sing it. Lil Double like 80% of the time, nobody does. So you're in there 80%. So what is something that uh, football has taught you that you can use when you're not on the field? Uh, one thing is... Um, uh, it's discipline, you know, just like, just not always having anger issues to everybody, you know, staying disciplined to your own mind, you know, um, when anybody's trying to mess with you, you know, just stay away from them, you know, just have your mind in peace and just, you know, just walk away from them. Not to worry right, about so, it. Oh, yeah, that's good. So, uh, we got a running thing going on on our show, man. So, later on, we'll play our version of Would You Rather. It's called Championship Round. So, for the initiation, I'm going to ask you, would you rather be a singer or would you rather be a dancer? I say dancer. Dancer. That's my guy. Let's go, Connor. All the dancers out there in the world, stand up, man. Well, you've already failed one part of the initiation, so we're going to keep moving on. <laughs> <laughs> so, B and I, man, we're planning to make a road trip to watch you play. So, when we come down there to Colleen, what's that go-to restaurant that you're going to recommend? And what's your uh, go-to meal there? Uh, I usually hit up Panera Bread. Uh, my go-to meal, I don't know what it's called, but it's like a, it's like a sub. It got buffalo chicken and provolone cheese and spinach. You know, a little healthiness, you feel me? And then, you know, the Bev, they got like this good green tea. It tastes really good. And I mixed up with like their uh, little orange juice that they got. It hits. I got a lot of hits. <laughs> so, Connor, you want us to drive like an hour or so there, and you're going to take us to Panera Bread. It's not like yeah. a local <laughs> hole in the wall that's like uh, hidden and clean. Panera Bread to spot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we we, we, we got to go check out Panera, man. Yeah, we got to go to Panera Bread. It's, it's official. All right, so now it's time for the You Got Next offering. We're passing our collection plates around and asking you to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like this video. Please like this video because every time they click on it or they search Connor Thompson, guess what's going to show up? This video. So show him that love. And also leave us your top five music artists, your theme song, and your favorite superhero in the comments. And finally, go to our website, sltugotnext.com, to learn more about us and the other You Got Next family members. Now allow me to turn it over to B as we learn more about our newest family member, Trill Connor Thompson. So, B. Jones, go ahead and take it away, brother. Hey, and, and one other quick thing. If you have to jump off of the YouTube, we understand. We know everybody can't sit in front of the TV or sit in front of the computer screen, but take uh, Sports Life Talk uh, on the go. We do have a podcast companion. You can listen to this and this show or uh, uh, any of our 400 other shows on your way in the car, on your way to the workouts, while you're working out, while you're cooking, uh, wherever you listen to your podcast. So, y'all go to Apple Podcasts or Spotify and you can download this version of the podcast. All right, Connor, let's get this day rocking. The ultimate athlete, Captain America in the building. This kid got the physique of an Adonis. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what is going on down in Colleen. Why, why I ain't seeing you synonymous with UT, Baylor, Texas Tech. I'm trying to, we're going to figure, we're going we we to we go get, we go get a shovel like Big X to plug, and we're going to dig this thing up today. We're going to figure it out. But uh, let's, let's start the story at the beginning, man. Let's, let's go back to Simple Roots, man. When did you start playing football, and when did you fall in love with the game? So... I started playing football like when I was around six, but it was like flag football. Um, so, you know, I just like get all the flags from people's waist and stuff. I look like the <laughs> pro, you feel me? I look like I was in the NFL. But when I started getting a pass, it was like in middle school, um, seventh grade. 
uh you know first time pass i was like i was kind of worried i was like you know what happens if i get concussion hit my head like am i going to play basketball or something like i don't know but my eighth grade year you know i felt pretty confident i was like pretty big i was pretty bigger than everybody i was like oh yeah i'm gonna go stupid you know the season it, it was kind of iffy it's kind of iffy you know wasn't all that but got to my high school and that's when I felt like I was like going really be like that in high school. I felt like I was going to go stupid. I felt like I was going to like get big off of you know my high school career. Man, we, now now I see that you actually. So Kevin, this is the uniqueness of the story. Connor right now is playing wide receiver. He's so talented he could play wide receiver, and the team apparently needs him more at wide receiver. He's six three one ninety. Definitely got the physique. I'm talking about you got the, the prototypical wide receiver physique, but this young man has a cannon, KT. Now, is it true that you've been playing quarterback for most of your career and you switched over to wide receiver midway through high school? Uh, I mean, it was like 50-50. Because, um, I mean, I really like wide receiver. But if I really do need to go QB and just throw the rock, you know, pass it deep for a little tud, yeah, I could I could do that. Now, in your in your videos, like when you went to FBU, what position did you try out with, or what position did you perform at at FBU? Receiver. Okay, so I saw so th those videos, those highlights of you at receiver with FBU, and it's it's a clear difference. Like like I was saying that when he gets it going, it's tough to stop you. Do do people take your speed? They look at you, and they like, oh, he's tall. He ain't really got that speed. Do they do they kind of take you for granted from that yeah. aspect? People say that I was slow, but like when I get on that field, it's just different. Like I get out the release, and I'm gone. You know, they ain't going to catch up to me. It's like football speed, man. Mm -hmm. You you got you got that football speed, that next level. So I can see, I can envision a lot of different wide receivers that I would compare you to. But who do you who do you emulate, or who do you like? You like going and looking at their highlights, or or football players that you you follow, and you like, man, I, that's that's what I want to bring to to my team on, on Friday nights. Man, it's a lot. Um, I'll say one of them is Justin Jefferson. You know, he's very elusive. You know, he, he get crazy on the field. Um, I got another one. Just because of my size, I say, I say uh, A.J. Brown. Oh, yeah. I like AJ Brown. I one hundred percent see. I was I was gonna go with more of a Julio Jones, but I like yeah. that AJ Brown. Julio I, Jones nice too. To me, to me, your physique was a little bit bigger. Like AJ Brown was a little bit more slender. He was he was, he was he, you know he was solid, but I saw a little bit more of that physique. I was either gonna say Julio Jones or Larry Fitzgerald, but Ooh. but. But 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 I I, I like the AJ Brown I like the AJ Brown comparison man because because that route running on Larry Fitz and, and Jordan Jefferson is is crazy now Kevin when I Kevin you and I have had opportunity to meet and do a show with a lot of coach hooks trained wide receivers and we know that when somebody say hey they coach hooks trained that means something that's like hey. This is going to be one of the best wide receivers in the state. We know that they're getting the best possible training. Man, what is it What is it like being a part of that, that Coach Hook uh, wide receiver stable, knowing this guy's putting people in the NFL? And, and tell us about a typical workout with him. Man, it's different. Um, you know, he's not like all these other trainers. Like, he will get you to the next level. Like, his training is college level to NFL level. Like, you wouldn't think, like, all the drills that he has is, like, high school. It's like really college level. Now, um, I say, wait, what was the other question? What was the other question? I was just gonna say, what what is a, what is a um, how does it feel to be a part of that stable? To be a, a be a part of that that uh, uh, that opportunity to be trained by him? It's really it's really motivational because like you see a lot of you know a lot of four star five stars you know all the all Americans like, like you could just imagine yourself going to that next level just like them. Well, I tell you what, you know, you don't have that four star, you don't have that five star, and it's not your fault, man. Unfortunately, it's a it's a business, and you know, you you in you and probably in a in a football community that don't get a lot of eyeballs. You also look it looks like you're on a team that doesn't distribute the ball as much, right? Maybe a ground and pound team. I I don't know. I had done that much research into the uh to the kangaroo football, man. But but in your own opinion. Why do you think you aren't uh, you aren't being observed as one of the best in the nation? Because anybody that 
turns on the highlight film, I can clearly see you got a Division One Power Five body. I can clearly see you got a Division One Power Five skills. That was not. I, I, I'm not putting the two and two together. Why the Why the colleges are knocking down your door to get an opportunity to have you be a part of their team? I, I believe it's just the area that I live in, um, and like the schools. Uh, you know, clean. You know, it's not really uh, an area to hit because I mean it's right in the middle of Central Texas, and you know you got Dallas, Houston, you got Austin, you know, you got maybe even Waco. Um, yep, yep. I mean, there's some dogs out there too. Yeah, there's some dogs out there. You know, clean's just in the middle. It's like really the underdog. You know, it's like. I wouldn't say small colleges, but like the medium colleges, like they'll come down there because they know there's like talent over there in Colleen. So I feel like, you know, Colleen's just the underdog of all the good players. Now, now what um, what kind of schools are you and your pops looking at? Have y'all, I mean, of course we know it's getting, it's getting, we in, we in 2000, you're a 24 kid. We midway through the football season as we record this. It'll probably be closer to playoff time almost uh, when everybody get the opportunity to sit down and see this. So what, when do you, you know, like what are you guys thinking as far as the recruitment process goes? How are y'all seeing this thing play out? Uh, well, I got some colleges looking at me. Uh, for example, I got San Angelo State. Um, I got Drake University. I got Montana. Uh, okay. I got I got Texas State. You know, um, but right like now Texas State too. I like I like yeah. Texas State. You get to stay closer to home, and they got a they they play some big time players. You know, you you gonna get an opportunity because Texas State is one of those schools that get paid by the other schools, the, the big schools, because other schools want to come and try to beat them up, and then you get they then they go back to their division and they they dominate. You know what I mean? So uh, that's that's not a uh, uh, not a bad look at all. I actually like that look for you, man. Have you already visited the campus? Uh, no, I've visited yet, but I did visit uh North Texas and San Angelo. Okay, okay. Well, well, we got a couple of minutes left. I think we got about three and a half minutes here left. Um, but but tell us, Connor, why why should these colleges be be looking at you right now, man? For anybody that's clicked on, if a college coach clicked on this thing right now, why do you feel like they're sleeping? What, what do they what would they get out of a Connor Thompson if they brought you into their program? They're going to look for a hardworking student, you know, as you know, in school, um, as an athlete, they're going to get a well-disciplined, hardworking, you know, kid. Like I always like worked every single day. That was my thing. I always grinded every day because I had a dream that I'm going to pursue myself to a D1 level. So they're going to get a kid that's going to stay disciplined and you know understand what to do, understand what his job is. That's right. That's right. What do you want to major in when you get to school? Major uh, is either marketing or uh, nutrition. Okay, okay. And uh, and my last question, man. What? Uh, how would you? How would your teammates describe? To me, you see, you see, you, you, we call you kind of trail, but it might be kind of chill, man. Hey, you, you see, you like you cool to the other side of the pillow, my guy. Well, how would you? How would your friends and your teammates describe kind of outside off the football field? Maybe in the locker room or in the classroom. Uh, I said, yeah, I'm chill. You know, I don't do too much. Uh, I'm chill. Um, what's the word? What's the word? Uh, I don't got the word down. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just a chill person, you know. I don't really make little jokes and stuff, you know. I laugh at your jokes or whatever. But I'm, I'm a care uh, person, though. You know, I'll help you wherever you need. You know, if if I need you, get you something. I'll, I'll get you. I'll get you right. You gotta laugh at my jokes, though, Connor. That's how you boost my self I'm gonna laugh. I'm gonna laugh, laugh at my jokes. jokes. Come on, brother. Do a fake laugh for me or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Connor, welcome to the Sports Life Talks version of Would You Rather. We call this the championship rounds. This is going to be three rounds of fury of KT versus myself. Have you ever played Would You Rather before? Yeah, I did. All right, so the rules are very simple. It's kind of like singing versus dancing, right? Both KT and I are gonna give you an option. We're gonna make a pitch, except it's gonna be it's gonna be deep pitches, right? It's gonna be a lot of layers to these pitches, and whichever one you select, that host gets a point. The first host to get two points, or the best out of three, will win this episode's game of championship rounds. And I, I kind of feel like I'm a little hot right now, Connor, because Kevin was winning a bunch. I mean, like out of 15 games, he had won like 11, and then all of a sudden, I, now I'm like three out of the last. I mean, excuse me, four out of the last five so i need this one brother because i told i told america that i was gonna close in the year strong i promised him that all right 
Yes, Plus, sir. Yes, sir. your daddy and me cool. We going to have beers next week. All right, here we go. <laughs> you know, I ain't drink beer. I ain't let you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Round number one. Would you rather be a role player, Connor, on a national championship caliber college team or become an All-American and a player of the year candidate on an up and coming college team? Ooh. Ooh. That's it's hard. It's hard. The first one. First one. First one. This my guy. This my guy. Y'all seen that field. If you're riding your car right now, start singing that field, Collins. All right. Here we go. Round number two. Would you rather? Netflix do a do a special called The Underdog and they select you to follow around for the next year and these are these are talking about some of the five most underrated players in the country and it's it's going to be kind of like a last chance you style documentary where we get to watch your story evolve or host your own food show on YouTube where you travel the world interview another high school football players getting to know more about them while they take you to their favorite place to eat in the towns that they play in. Dang. Uh, the second one, I could lie. So, oh. God, we get, so we can get more than just Panera Bread, B. Jones. We got to get more than just Panera Bread. I want to see the kid like Panera Bread. They got Paneras all over the country. Yeah, but they got <laughs> other stuff right. too. <laughs> Round three. All right, so on our show, which you can watch here Wednesday, is at 8 p.m. Central Time. We have a segment called The Drop, where B. Jones turns shoe guru and presents a pair of shoes that he feels you should cop or not. So for round three, we're both going to present a pair of shoes to Connor, and he will have the final vote because whoever he picks wins this episode's game. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to count down from three, and then I'm going to have Connor say, hold that sneaker, and we're going to show him what we brought today, Connor. So you got it? Mm-hmm. Sorry. All right. So three, two, one. Hold that sneaker. Oh. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. That's crazy. I mess with the grays. I mess with the grays. Right. Yeah, there we go. Oh. And the new champion, B. Jones. Yeah, I'm going to finish out the year all strong, Connor, so help your boy out. No, player, he went with the head coach on this one. Thank you, Connor, man. I really appreciate it. I'm really looking forward to getting some Bernero bread now, B. Jones. I can't wait to get that green tea that's real good. He's talking about whatever, man. Let's go. So, Connor, Let's you wear a lot of shoes that everybody got, man? I mean, everybody rocking them, them cool them wolf grays. I don't got the cool grays. Um, Say, you know, man, stop, stop hating on my. No, no, Connor, you ain't got to explain that to him. Wow. Hey, cool grays are nice, though. They're nice. I don't mm. got them, but they're nice. You know. So, uh, so I want, I want all my, all my K- Killeen. His teammates, I, I I held up a shoe that was representative of y'all. This is a team shoe. This was his senior shoe. This was a clean one. This is a KB. So no, let me ask you, since you're trying to call him out, how many people got those? I don't know. I don't know, man. I, I know I got them. So there we go. Let's keep it moving on. You can't get right, more kind of like that today, man. <laughs> All right, Connor Trill. We talked about the past. We talked a little bit about the present. And we kind of talked about the future. But everybody who's rocking with you at Connor underscore Trill, now we following you at a whole different level. The title of the show, Sports Life Talks, you got next. What's next for Connor Thompson? I'm just going to pursue. I'm just going to keep driving. You know, keep driving to, you know, wherever God takes me. You know, I, I'm hoping it's college. I hope it's big college. Man, I'm more going to go to college for like education wise but i hope it's for a sport like football hey do you have any shout outs you want to give uh shout out to my parents shout out to my mom shout out to my sister uh shout out to my grandparents shout out to my teammates you know they always got my back um yeah who else am i gonna shout out that's it shout out to god too shout out to god big shout out 
All right, so this is a part of the show where you get a chance to call the person that you think should have next. Tell them, hey, I got a chance to rock with B. Jones and KT. I told them my story. Now I want you to do the same thing. With that said, Connor, who are you calling out? Who should have next? Well, Connor, J. Sean Payton. You know, he's our top DB in Killeen, Killeen High School. So he should be on this uh, show. Hi, J. As well. J. Sean Payton, another underdog. Roo, roo, roo. You are officially on the clock, man. You just got your ticket punched. We uh we're gonna try to get you on for season four and uh let everybody hear your amazing story. We are super excited about it. So make sure uh you hit us up, brother. We are we gonna reach out to you. We're gonna make this thing work and get you scheduled for the uh for the next year calendar. But Connor Thompson, you got next listen man i know you got that chill vibe but you are a monster on that football field and you are even more even more than that you are an impressive young man sir we don't we don't get the opportunity to interview these kids before we meet them backstage and, and you know when i meet somebody like yourself i'm just super impressed by your behavior your your discipline and your willingness to go out there and lay it down for your team man you are extraordinary you are elite you deserve a yeet Let's go. All right, man. Well, Connor, even though you don't have a good sneaker choice game, but uh, we still love you like a play, cuz. <laughs> like a play, cuz. Sports Life Talk Nation. Thank y'all for watching another fire episode of Sports Life Talks. You got next. I cannot stress to y'all how much 2023 has meant. It has been a tremendous year. It, we, and it's been all apart uh, by by the support and the love and admiration and just the the acceptance of the DFW community and all, all throughout the nation. You guys have just embraced us, and uh, we truly appreciate. You gonna hear me get emotional on all the shows as we as we close out the year because that's how much it means to us. But don't forget, you can you can be a part of this movement and help us to carry the torch into 2024 by going to our, our, our any of our social media websites or what. Like, you call them platforms at sports life talk all one word we the only one out there you're gonna see your boys with the cold case smiles ah that's us at sports life talk we, we drop social media content every single day so uh so make sure y'all show us some love and uh and if you want to be on the show you know he recommended jay sean payton but if you want to get on the show you're like man i got a dope story you know they not cut no no recruiters coming out here to my part of the neck of the woods either go to our website sltugotnext.com click on the nominate tab and uh tell us a little bit about yourself we uh, we don't I, I personally don't feel like we get enough people that are reaching out to us kevin so if you want your story to come on the show you want to be auditioned for the show hit us up and let us know and if and if not just go to our website and check out the cool content we got a lot of cool content most more information about kt you can get our top five stuff like that is all that is uh is on our website last but not leastly our last two Wednesday nights, 8 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. I expect to see y'all there. It's a fun show. It's not just sports. It's about pop culture, entertainment, music, fashion. We have a great time. It's all laughs, all relaxation on Wednesday nights. And uh, and then lastly, the podcast. Don't forget, listen to uh, this show or uh, 400 other shows on our podcast. Ask Sports Life Talk on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. All right, KT, let's get out of here, man. All right, Connor, man, thank you so much for rocking with us. Whatever you need from us, please let us know, and we got your back. For sure, for sure. All right, we coming to see you, man. We, we coming right. to see you. Like Big X Plus, I've been digging this like a shovel on a whole other level. I don't know, Big X Plus. Hey, 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 Big X, come on, do the show, man. Hey, Sports Life Talk Nation, we love y'all. Stay safe, be blessed, respect each other, and love one another because together we are better. And keep dreaming big. Because you never know. Your story may be the next one featured on Sports Life Talks. You got next. Y'all better recruit this young man. <laughs> craziest. I knew you had next because you always working. You always grinding. You're in your bag because you're always working. Like in due time, I just, I knew you got next. Oh, you did it, huh? Crack the code. You got next, you smashing goals. You want next, you need exposure. Well, sports like talk out the baddest show, like the baddest hut in the room. Podcast to tune into just for you to talk your shit. Talk your mushroom. You want what you eat and you should consume. Sports like talk from the late night to the afternoon, then rest repeat. Hit the like, leave a comment, or subscribe so you don't miss a beat. You got next, it's a small taste of a winning meal from a chef type of celebrity. What's up next is you, at least you better be. Yeah, you got next, yeah. I can feel it.
just like me.